Hey, hello, welcome back to the shop. I'm glad you've stopped by. So, as sad as it sounds, the winter again is here um, and it's hella cold. This morning in the shop it was plus two degrees. Ah, freezing. But the stove is doing the job quite well, uh, half an hour in and it's already plus 12 in the shop. But anyways, let's get into this build. So, this is my welding setup. It's almost perfect, but not quite. And one little thing that separates it from uh, being a proper welding setup is, yeah, you guessed it, it's ventilation. Ooh. I almost melted my chair, it was too close to the stove. When I'm doing some welding jobs here during the summer, I usually open up the big door and I open up the window and the fumes kind of go away and it's all fine. Uh, but during the winter, I don't really want to open up the big door and the window because it's getting so fucking cold here. And it's like when it's cold here, it's just ruining the joy of being here. So I think the ventilation uh, above the welding table should sort it out. I want to make like an arm here uh, from two or maybe three pieces with a duct on it. So I could bring this arm uh, depending on where I'm welding. Usually I do most of the welds here. Uh, you can actually see by, by the look of the table that this is like, this is where the, the job is getting done. So yeah, I would like to be able to bring this arm anywhere on the table or maybe even off the table as well if I'm doing some, some bigger stuff that's not fitting on the table. And this improvement is also going to be very healthy for my health. As you know, somebody, somebody, some, somebody, 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 some, some sound, soul in a sound body. Is that what you say? Uh, yes, health is always good. So I don't really have the plan for the arm yet. Um, I think I'm gonna make it from this 20, 27 mil pipe. I'll just start prototyping it as I go and I'll give you some updates when I'll have them. So let's get to work. So I had a two week break since the last time I was in the shop and it feels good to be back. I kind of had to remind myself what I was doing here. This project is actually so simple and cheap. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet, but if you're watching this video, it probably does work. I'm not using any hinges, no bearings or whatsoever, just bolts and steel basically. Uh, I want to mount this plate uh, on a wall here and uh, try to assemble these arms uh, together with this plate. Gonna break out my power drill now. to make a big round hole in a wall. I think I'm gonna drill a lot of holes in a circle and then I'll try to scoop out the middle and inside the channel I'm gonna install this guy. How do you call this? Oh my god, I forgot the name for this thing. Uh, it is not going to allow cold air to enter my shop and it will open only when the motor will be spinning. I'll tell you what, guess how many holes did I drill there? And the person who gets the closest to the number uh, is gonna win one of those. My custom shop tool pouch. It's pretty awesome, it goes in a belt and yeah, it's very useful to have around in the shop. So write down in the comments how many holes did I drill there. So 
So the motor is beautifully in place. I have connected it to the channel with this duct. And on the other side of the wall, I've put like a diffuser just to cover the hole. I'm gonna try to put together the arm now and uh, we'll see how it works. Hopefully I won't have to change a lot of things. That's bloody lovely! <laughs> I can definitely feel that there is a lot of stress on that joint there, but overall it works so nice! There is just a lot less stress on this joint here. Still movable? Yes. So, last night I put the duct on. I've used just your regular duct that you would use for uh, your general ventilation needs. It's the stuff like this. Uh, it's pretty good, it's made from aluminium and it's quite uh, flexible for the most needs but for uh, my application it wasn't flexible enough and I'm sure it's gonna wear off pretty quickly so I think I'm gonna scrap this duct and use something different. I went to the hardware store today and stumbled across this stuff. This one is a lot nicer, it's super flexible, it's very rigid as well. I like it so much, it's so nice comparing to this old duct. Wasting money again! Just to give you the idea, this is 6 meters of your classic duct and this is 6 meters of this super awesome uh, flexible duct. I've also changed this part here, I think the steel cable was too flimsy for this setup. And with this kind of setup I can always loosen or tighten this uh, tension here and it just holds a little bit better than with the steel cable. My new fume extraction system works just like a clock. I'm so happy with it. It's so simple, it's pretty cheap. This thing is definitely going to be very good for my health, uh, as well as overall being in the shop. Man, I'm so happy. This is probably my favorite build in like a year or something. So glad I actually made it. Check this out. It works just like a clock. It's perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on this video. It's the only way for me to know if I should do more videos or not. So uh, don't hesitate, leave a like. Also, comments are great. Check out the Patreon for the further support. And yeah, dude, till the next time.
，拜拜。